Teachers are getting a lot of attention right now with their pay raise, but what about those who keep the lights on, the buses running, and the classrooms clean? Well, Two Works for you reporter Tony Russell is live at Charles Page High School where he spoke exclusively to support staff. And Tony, what do they say about all this? Well, according to the stats, those support staff supposed to get about a $5,000 raise with this revenue package. It looks like they only got about a fourth of it. And these are the people who make sure your kids are in school and keep the building running. One teacher told me one time, if it wasn't for us, the school wouldn't run. You know you've had a long day at school oh, when you hear so. Andrea Hurd at work. I can't stand a mess. My OCD kicks in. Her day is just starting. For Karen Sism, she's ending a week of keeping track of 1,200 students. Don't make it to class, you'll be hearing from her. These are just two of the many keeping Charles Page High School running. They're the support staff, and their fight for a fair paycheck has been right up there with the teacher's fight. I quit the schools 10 years ago. Right. And when I came, I lost my job due to the oil industry crunch. And when I came back, I'm making the same salary that I was making when I left 10 years ago. The new revenue bill only gives support staff a $1,250 raise. It hurts. It, uh, I mean, we're thankful naturally that we got that, but, um, would people like it if they only brought home an extra $100 a month with the taxes and stuff the way they are? You know we're not going to be bringing home that much money. Teachers want everyone to know they've been rallying all along for their support staff. Unfortunately, it seems like the focus has been on teacher raises, teacher raises. Teachers get their raises, but they still want to strike. Um, it's not just that. It's the teacher raise is one piece of a large pie. Funding for support staff is part of that pie. They are absolutely key to the functionality of our day-to-day -day building activities. We can't do it without them. We're a team, no matter what. If it's custodian, teacher, secretary, we're all a team. And the superintendent tells me over the phone today, while the teachers walk out, the support staff will be here on Monday. Reporting live in Sand Springs, Tony Russell, two works for you.